Okay, I'm uh, getting my floor ready to put tile on. Originally, I was thinking maybe I could just put my tile right on the uh, plywood sheeting I've got down here. There's three quarter inch and uh, a sleeper bed, if you remember that. And uh, people that I've been buying my stuff from thought maybe that wouldn't be a good idea, that I needed something extra on here. Either have another layer of underlay, which I definitely didn't want to do since we've got uh, water tubes running under here for the heat. Didn't want to go nailing that stuff down. What we got out here now is this product here. It's uh, Schluter is the name of the company and the product is uh, Dietra. And what Dietra is, is separates the tile from the floor actually. A um, well, piece of it here, Let's see what you can see. This is uh, Focus that in a little bit. This is it. Waffle board looking thing. It's got uh, some type of material on the back of it here. And uh, you can look this up on the internet and find out how it works. But basically, what that does is we are, we're putting that down on the plywood flooring using thin set, uh, this is unmodified mortar. And the unmodified mortar is uh, dry. When that sets up, it just dries out, the water dries out, and that's, we're using that because we've got the plywood here, and that'll work. Uh, when we put the tile on, we're going to use a modified, that's a little bit different. <clears throat> what it does is uh, put this down, and because of those little waffles, and you see the, little, the way that's made, the floor can move a little bit. Say the wood, when it gets warm or expands or contracts, that'll move. But this, this uh, Dietra actually separates the tile from the floor and allows the floor to move without damaging the tile or damaging where you've you got it grouted together. So that's what we're doing, putting that down. Um, first time I've ever used this product. Uh, I'm using a thin set modified mortar. Now the problem I've had figuring this out, since it's the first time I've used the product, went by the rules on a bag of mortar and uh, really ended up being too thick. Had a little trouble with the first layer there getting that down. Uh, what we want to want to see, let's see if we can see that. What we want to see is the wood coating of that uh, I'm bring this a little closer here. You lift that up. You want that, that mortar to be sticking on, on uh, Dietra. It doesn't fill in the little gaps. All it does is glues it down here. Um, I've had a couple of problems. I, my first instinct was that the uh, stuff was a little bit too thick. And I went and said, I went according to the directions, which was uh, for 50 pounds, you'd use five quarts of water, up to five and a half quarts of water. So I was only going to mix 20 pounds, I measured it out, weighed it, weighed the stuff, measured the water, and it ended up fairly thick. I had a little problem. I thought maybe it was going to work a little different, and it did. So, experimenting here a little bit, the second batch wasn't quite as bad, and it lightened it up a little bit. Now I think I got it pretty well to the right consistency. What we're going to want to do though, since it is the type that it is, we either use a misting bottle, and I guess this is going to put a little dampness on the plywood. We don't want it too wet. Just enough that when we put this board around, it doesn't suck the juice out. Uh, the other thing I'm, I've done here, this stuff's about I think it's 33 inches wide, is uh, I don't know if we could see it here or not. I drew a line, I, I laid the stuff down, cut it to the width I needed, and then I, I lined it. And the reason I did that is so when I'm putting the mortar down, I uh, got a good idea where not to go too far past it. Don't want to waste too much water, it's not that expensive, but still. So when I came up finally, I got it at a consistency, I think it works pretty good. You see it, it's still, it'll still slump on the, a little applicator here. 
but it's it's kind of sloppy. You might want to, if you ever use this stuff, you might want to experiment a little bit before you start doing the whole big line of the stuff to get a feel for it. And uh, the other the other thing was Schluter makes a trowel for this product. It's um, Schluter's made over in Europe someplace, Germany, I believe. And uh, they they actually there there's is a about smaller than a quarter inch in square. Uh, they recommend one quarter by I think it's three sixteenths V notch. And I did not find those around here for nothing. What this one is, this is a three sixteenths by five thirty seconds. That's pretty close, but not exact. And uh, I'll try to put that on the glass of it. When you use it, it seems like you don't you have to be careful you don't scrape too much off. You want to keep uh, enough on there so when you put your Dietra down, that it set up good and you squeeze it through here. I've noticed what happens is because the, the way this is made, when you're pushing it down, it's a little bit hard to get real good contact at first. I watch you guys, uh, some other guys on YouTube do this here. It's kind of not really, really. Fast and easy, but I guess it's the first time I've ever done it. And I'll keep them with my mortar and get too soupy. It's just trying to find the right consistency. So, some to say that like, use the flat side of your thing, go down, make sure you got it done on the plywood good, and then the backboard. But, like I say, I'm trying not to show too much plywood too. There. And that's that. We'll uh, end that for now. You get the idea. You say uh, if you ever do this, first time, either you have somebody help you or uh, and experiment a little bit with your mortar before you really get going with it to try to get the right consistency. Because um, I really had a problem with that first layer I laid down here because the mortar was thicker. And you can't, they tell you not to, unless you get the mortar mixed. You mix it up, wait about 15 minutes, you remix it, and then you're not supposed to put any more water to it. That'll, uh, because it's already started to set or do its thing, so you don't want to add water to it later. So, you get it right the first time, and it makes things a lot easier. But if it's the first time you're doing it, you don't always get it right. Okay, I'm going to continue on here, finish. This up tonight, I hope. Got the tile ordered and just gotta get it over here. We're gonna put on, well, you'll see. Okay, got the mortar done on there. Uh, lay my Dietra down and uh, have to do now is squash that Dietra right down onto the mortar real good. Uh, they recommend, some recommend using the back a smooth side of the trowel, or you can get one of those wooden, like a concrete full. That would probably be better. I don't like the trowel that's going on, it's a little bit, edges are too sharp, and it tends to dig into the Dietra. Uh, what I've been using is just a piece of 2x4, make sure it's a nice, clean, flat one. And then just squish it right down in there. Now you should be able to notice this stuff's really nice and bright orange to start with it. But uh, if you squash it down, press it down onto the corner, you should be starting to see it looks more gray in these waffles. So that shows that you're getting a good bond. I'll just pick this up and see how it looks. I don't really like doing this, but yeah, see, so, you know, I'm gonna put that down a little bit tighter, but that's what you should be seeing this. And uh, I'm just gonna glue that down, put that back down. Go over the whole thing with that, like that. And you should get it to go. And a few spots I step down if they don't look quite connected there. 